have John from Ultralife here. John, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good to see you. So, explain, th this is a pretty unique product and it's something that probably not everyone thinks about, but the people who need it do think about it. Explain what you, you brought over here. Well, what you see here is the A320 V1 amplifier that's built around the A320 KT. Uh, it's a 30 to 512 megahertz 20 watt amplifier. So, why is this the best? I mean, why did ADS choose you guys to partner with? Well, for, for our, several reasons. One, there's, uh, there's thousands of these within uh, Department of Defense, especially in the soft community. That have been uh, issued. Absolutely. Right. Uh, and of course, our soft allies, uh, Australia, uh, UK. There's, um, this amplifier is 24 ounces, so it's the lightest and smallest amplifier in the market. There is none other that's smaller. All right, and so you can see that it has the uh, panel on the back, so you can change. You can see what all your different settings are. Um, you know, easy, easy visibility on it. Uh, you, you guys also have created. This is, um, you know, we want the viewers to know this is a demo, but it's a prototype. But you have a little side pouch Correct. that can be worn with. Uh, we've just uh, we're, we're updating, trying to. to uh make sure that we're giving the customers what they need, but this is a, uh, a new PAL system that we're looking at. Uh, this is a prototype that will uh, make sure that the A320 V1 can be mounted uh, to personnel and also maintain its uh, temperature to make sure it keeps cool. Right, and you said it had the uh, fins yes. for the venting? Uh, Roger, it's, okay. uh, it's, it's just used air convection to cool, it's natural. Just needs to make sure that any amplifier, when it, uh, once it's used, generates heat. So you just want to make sure you take precautions, make sure you keep the amplifier from overheating. Right, and so a lot of soldiers will put it, you said, in the top of the backpack, it, any, any, you know, there's any number of places you can. Right, every, uh, every soldier's different. Okay, and so what is this boost to? So you have a typical radio. Right, uh, well this, this amplifier is radio agnostic, so any radio that operates between the 30 to 512 megahertz range, it'll support. Okay. Uh, what's your key here is that uh, mainly your handheld radios, um, it's going to double the operating range. It has the, capi ca the capacity to double the operating range. So you're turning a, an embedder radio or a uh, 152 series radio into a man pack equivalent. So who's using this? Where, where are they using it? Uh, this amplifier is very uh, popular in the soft community. Okay. So, so you know, they're, they're going overseas, they're in a mountainous range where they need a little extra boost, or the comms that they were given just don't have the juice for it. That's correct. Um, your soft guys and, uh, find it very, uh, very useful in Afghanistan. This combat proven in Iraq and Afghanistan, okay. especially in, in East Afghanistan, where it's very uh, mountainous. Right. Um, so, so you need the extra range. Correct. So talk about the power source, power supply. Right. Uh, this amplifier uh, is powered by one XX90 type battery. Okay. Um, so if you're using a, we have a 5390 uh, extra capacity battery. Uh, in conjunction with this, at a 15% duty cycle, you're looking at about 24 hours of operation. So you get a long run time. Yes, you do. You do. All right, so at the end of the day, what this does is it allows a soldier to use a smaller radio and get the same amplification and have the same range for comms. That's correct. You're uh, basically cutting your weight in half. Half. And the footprint in half. That's amazing. Well, hey, thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Good to see you.